Hello, welcome to Red Book Joy. Today I want to talk to you about AI audiobooks. If you're new to the channel, I'm Jack, and if you're not new, welcome back. And today I want to talk to you about AI audiobooks because uh, my partner recently sent me an announcement by Project Gutenberg, which if you've not heard of, it's an amazing project that's been going for years on the internet and it's to make uh, freely available in ebook format any books where there are no licensing um, issues where books usually where the author I think it's over 75 years a book can be published uh, you know like a classic book can be published so if you go to Project Gutenberg you want to read a classic book they've got all these different formats of like EPUB Kindle formats PDF formats so if you want to e-read any of these books you can read them for free and they've got thousands and thousands and thousands of books on there because they've been going like I said since the early days of the internet I think so they recently announced that they have got a lot of AI audiobook versions of a lot of these famous old classic texts and some not so famous as well because they've got a lot of obscure classic texts on there so uh, if you're someone who reads a lot of classics and you think you need to try and find out find more classics or look for something that's a bit more obscure you'll find it on there but they did an announcement that they've got um, some AI read books what are AI audiobooks though to start with because this is what led me down this little rabbit hole and I wanted to have a little discussion about it so first of all what are AI audiobooks so what are AI audiobooks and I've got my a cup of tea here because this could be quite rambling it's just something I found really interesting I thought I'd put out there for discussion because I just thought it was interesting so artificial intelligence is rife in the news at the moment there are some people who think it's the end of the world there are people who think it's going to change the world um, I think there are lots of really good advantages to AI there are lots of dark sides to AI so I just wanted to consider AI audiobooks and I think having had a think about it I'm trying to do a sort of balanced view on it there are positives and of course there are negatives to it if we look on the project Gutenberg side of things AI generated audiobooks, artificial intelligence generated audiobooks are um, these auto generated books where the text is fed into a, a reader. So these readers have been trained and this I'll get to this because this is quite suspicious in, as well because I found a load of articles that led off of this. Um, these are almost human sounding voices they can't quite get the cadence of a human voice like you can definitely tell because I listened to one of the Project Gutenberg books and it's miles better than you would imagine an AI generated audiobook to be but it's still you can tell it's not a proper human voice it's not a, a narrator there isn't the emotion behind the text but actually you can get a really good gist of the text listening to it they're not humans reading them so on one side of it, they are really, really cost effective for a project like Project Gutenberg, which wants to put things out there in the public domain and make it available. So we've got a cost effective way of making books accessible to those who cannot read visually. So I think, and, and also making audio books available widely so you got, you've got to applaud that. On the flip side of that, you've got the lack of performance and the fact that it isn't going to be as enjoyable or as entertaining as an actual audiobook narrator. Because I have a huge love for audiobooks. I've got narrators that I adore who bring the story to life for me. So you're not gonna get that. But you are gonna get access to audiobooks for people who may not have any money or any way of affording them because they still are quite expensive in some ways. There are, I mean, I have a, lot, a whole video where I investigated audiobook alternatives to Audible because Audible is the main audiobook uh, provider at the moment in the world, like the big, the market leader. But, you know, audiobook sales have shot up in, in recent years. People are really into their audiobooks now. So it's a big market and lots of people want a piece of that market. So there's this, when I started picking away at this, there's a whole load of issues going on around audiobooks AI generated auto narration and just sort of the, the infighting between the different audiobook providers at the moment. Um, Spotify recently started providing audiobooks and they've got into a big hoo ha with Apple. <laughs> So I'll talk about all this because I just found it all fascinating. But in terms of AI generated aud audiobooks, the, the downside to it is that there's a whole industry out there who whose jobs are at risk right because we've got this lovely idea of project gutenberg who are trying to do a cost effective way of bringing these classic texts for free uh, in a more um, accessible format for everybody so make it widely available which has got to be applauded right on there's also the fact that we've got a lot of indie authors now 
And there are services out there, I think Apple have one of them, Google has one of them, where they will do a very cost effective way of an, for an indie author to get their book um, narrated. It's AI generated audio again, but it is much more cost effective for someone who is an indie author to get their book out there in multiple formats. So there's the plus sides of it. Uh, because indie authors need all the help they can get, right? And if, you, if you're an indie author and you want your book to be available as an audiobook format, then this, this is now a viable option for you, okay? Because it costs a lot of money to produce a properly narrated audiobook. On the flip side of that, you've got artists, and I think audiobook narrators are. They're actors, they're artists, they are just fantastic at bringing a book to life. Like I said to you, I have so much love for so many audiobook narrators. I would be devastated if we, and I don't think we're ever gonna go down the route where it's just all, no one wants all auto-generated audiobooks, right? But yeah, I can see the benefits from it. I also see the downside of it. And um, yeah, it's making a lot of people in the industry very, very concerned because of course, AI has come on leaps and bounds in the last few years. And I think the growth of AI and the development and the way the improvements that are being made in AI, I think very, very rapidly, we're gonna to get to a point where these voices do sound fairly human and they have got that cadence. I don't think we'll ever get to that point completely, but yeah, it's got to be really worrying if your main business is uh, narrating, editing, producing audiobooks, okay? So then we get to the whole capitalization of these audiobooks, the, the, the infighting between the various producers of audiobooks that I just discovered is going on. So one of the things is um, a, an argument, an ongoing argument uh, between Spotify and Apple. So um, the main audiobook sort of market leader is Audible and Audible are, you know, everyone wants a slice of their market. So everybody's been trying to get out there and get the um, audiobook market, a big slice of it. So then another sinister aspect of all of this is to do with Apple and um, a company called uh, Findaway Voices. And I'll put a link to this Wired article that I saw. Um, so apparently a Texas-based audiobook narrator called Gary Furlong had worried for a while that synthetic voices created by algorithms would still work from artists like himself. Earlier this month, he realized he felt his worst fears had been realized. So he's one of the narrators and authors who became outright outraged after learning about a clause in their contract with Findaway, um, who is the leading audiobook distributor. Um, they gave Apple the right to use audiobook files for machine learning and training their models. So they're effectively stealing these people's voices to train their AI generated models. Um, and Findaway was recently acquired by Spotify. So they weren't clearly informed about this clause, a lot of authors and narrators say, and they fear it may have allowed their work or their voices to contribute to Apple's development of synthetic voices for audiobooks. Apple launched its first books narrated by algorithms last month. Now this was published back in uh, February. So um, there's this ongoing battle between between actual, I mean, imagine having your voice stolen, in effect. I say, you know, it's written into the contract, but this was a tiny clause and they're fighting against this because it wasn't clearly stated, this change in their contracts. And they have, their voices are being used to train a machine that may eventually put them out of work. So yeah, quite sinister really, isn't it? Editing Jack here. I just wanted to draw your attention to the fact that we've got the uh, writers and actors strike going on in America and one of the big contentious issues is AI and um, after editing this video I found a really interesting article which I've linked in the description box below which is about Stephen Fry who recently discovered his voice had been stolen to do a voiceover of a documentary that he had no involvement in so they took uh, some of the recordings from his Harry Potter audiobooks which there are hundreds of hours of him recording uh, of him doing voiceover from Harry Potter and they've used that to replicate his voice through AI and then narrate an entire documentary. So yeah, it is really sinister. I just want to read you a bit about what Stephen Fry said before I go on, but the whole article is linked in the description box below. He said, I'm a proud member of Actors Union SAG-AFTRA. As you know, we've been on strike for three months now and one of the burning issues is AI. I said not one word of that and he's referring to the documentary. 
It was a machine. Yes, it shocked me. They used my reading of the seven volumes of the Harry Potter books. And from that data set, an AI of my voice was created and it made that new narration. Fry also spoke about the dangers that come with the use of these technologies, being able to create any type of content based on the voice or image of any person. What you heard was not the result of a mashup, Fry said. This is from a flexible artificial in uh, voice where the words are modulated to fit the meaning of each sentence. It could therefore have me read anything from a call to storm parliament to hard porn, all without my knowledge and without my permission. And this, what you just heard, was done without my knowledge. So I heard about this, sent it to my agents on both sides of the Atlantic and they went ballistic they had no idea such a thing was possible and he says you ain't seen nothing yet this is audio and it won't be long until full deep fake videos are just as convincing so yes very sinister applications of AI going on in the world so we do need to think about this but that is the dark side of it so I'm hoping to try and present a kind of balanced view of the possibilities of AI and the things it can bring as well as looking at the negatives so yeah I thought it was just a really fascinating article and I thought I'd add it in here back to me um, the other issue going on between Apple and Spotify is not to do with AI narration, but I thought it was quite interesting because it led off of the back of this. Spotify and Apple are having a huge in-battle to the point where Spotify have uh, got a website called timetoplayfair.com. Um, Spotify started putting audiobooks for sale up on their service. So you can buy audiobooks through Spotify now. And they've actually got a whole like website devoted to it. So it says, audiobooks on Spotify, here's the full story. Spoiler, we want to deliver a super awesome and easy user experience, but once again, Apple is standing in the way. This time, in addition to consumers being hurt, authors and publishers are also being punished so they're saying that um, they want to deliver on iOS that you open your Spotify app, you purchase a audiobook, you enjoy it, but Apple are saying this is an in-app purchase and they want you to jump through about 10 different steps before you download your Spotify audiobook. So yeah, it's like, it's kind of opened up a whole can of worms. If you want to, you can go and look into all of this, but much like anything where you've got the marketization of anything like this, uh, you've got the you've got people like Project Gutenberg who are going to use AI to generate free books for people you know that people can listen to that they don't need to pay for then you've got something like a you get indie authors are able now to create quite cheaply an audiobook uh, to go like to put out there with their indie book right rather than having to pay extortionate amounts so then on the other side of it you've got these audiobook narrators who are going to be put out of work who are having their voices in effect stolen to train the thing that is going to put them out of work so i just thought it was a really interesting debate and i just wanted to put it out there what do you think about it all um have i missed any parts of the the story am i not is there parts of it that i'm not seeing are there parts of it that um i've not heard of yet are there parts of the argument here or any other interesting parts of the story that you've heard of i'd love to hear about it in the comments because i just think it's a fascinating topic very very current at the moment and one that when i read i started going down this rabbit hole of the infighting that's going on between these massive companies producing audiobooks and then the worrying trend for AI generated audiobooks that is really worrying the audiobook industry that the people who make them not the people who sell them but the people who make them and I just want to put it out there if any audiobook narrators are listening because I have some absolute favorites but if anyone out here does voice work does audiobook narration does anything like that thank you for your work because you have just delighted me and brought me hours and hours of entertainment in my life so long may it continue <laughs> Let me get into it in the comments. Hopefully you've got some thoughts on this and we can get into it in the comments and I'll speak to you down there. If you like this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. If you are new to the channel and you've not been here before, maybe consider subscribing and hopefully I will see you again here soon. Bye.